everyone, my name is Bruno da Silva Bunha and I'm student of the Master's Degree program in the Mechanical Engineering at the Federal University of Tajubá, Munifei. I'm here as a second author and I will be presenting the first author, Cedar Rodrigues, and the other researchers that also supported this work, Thiago Veloso and Professor Christian Coronado from GTEC, the group of studies in energy conversion technologies. This paper that I'll present in for you is entitled Parametric Optimization of Organic Chemic Cycles Using Psyotropic Mysteries and FPCO Units. This presentation will follow the agenda below. We will start with introduction, methodology, results, and filing the conclusions. So here in Brazil, the context of the oil and gas industry is directly linked to the basalt layer exploration. For this task, we have the filter introduction storage and offloading FPCO units, as you can see in the figure in the screen. Uh, this technology is such a viable option that companies make use to explore and process oil and gas all around the world. And however, this industry activity is such a responsible for the high negative impact on the environment due to atmospheric emissions. To mitigate this problem, Increasing the energy efficiency of its production process and reducing the greenhouse gas emissions has become of the main objective for the sustainable development uh, of this industrial activity. So, we have among the solutions the organic ranking cycle, known as ORC, that shows itself as a promising technology. Um, the ORC is similar to the conventional ranking cycle, however, it makes use of a uh, heavy molecular organic compound as a fluid. So it's not water as the conventional ranking. Uh, it also presenting a low boiling point and a latent heat of vaporization, uh, which is lower than water. Uh, such a characteristic allows the evaporation at lower temperatures, which provided as well a better use of the heat of the heat sources. And these heat sources can represent a range of uh, 50% to 18% of total primary energy source. Talking more about ORCs, the optimization approach is mostly focused on the proper solution of the working fluid and while looking to the operating parameters of the cycle. Schuster's study showed that these approaches are crucial to maximize the system performance. Uh, the decision is heavily based on the temperature level of the heat source. Uh, however, uh, new research has showed an improvement in the ORC cycles uh, in the thermo thermodynamic performances by using uh, a new zyotropic mysteries as a working fluid instead of the pure uh, organic fluid uh, in the cycle. So the main objective of this work is to evaluate the energy performances of uh, an ORC cycle uh, for the use of uh, a low temperature heat source, uh, in our case it's a FPSO, uh, that are used for offshore exploration. Two configurations, uh, the simple one and the regenerative of the ORC, were analyzed. For this proposed, a multi objective optimization uh, based on genetic algorithm was developed, in which the design parameters such as vaporization and condensation pressure, uh, superheating and the turbine inlet, and effectiveness of the heat recovery unit. Uh, for the case of regenerative cycle one, were analyzed using a total of the 48 different working fluids. And so the, all the working fluids and the respective mixtures, uh, which uh, gave us uh, uh, 150 uh, simulations or combinations. The main criteria used uh, were the net electrical power generated by the cycles and the dimensions of the rich exchanger equipment for the both configurations and all the different work fluids uh, used. So for this work, a mathematical model was developed following the fundamental laws and of conservation of mass and energy. Uh, for the ORC, we have uh, four main equipment, uh, evaporator, turbine, pump, and cooler. Uh, for the case of the, the originator cycle, we have the internal rich exchanger but basically there are four equipments. Uh, to avoid determined stability, and there were uh, established some limitations uh, in the model, like uh, a minimal condensing pressure of uh, 50 kPa, maximum vaporization pressure uh, of uh, 
95% of the critical pressure, the inlet turbine temperature cannot exceed the critical temperature of the working fluid. And we have uh, other assumptions like uh, it was considered a steady state. Uh, there is no variation of uh, potential and kinetic energy uh, of the working fluid throughout the cycle. Uh, no reaching losses to the environment for pipes and all the equipment. The efficiencies, uh, this entropic efficiency was considered uh, 80% for pump and turbine. And the detailed calculations of uh, pressure losses as the heat transfer in the evaporator, recuperator, and condenser were ignored, since the, the depend heavily on the materials and design details of the heat exchanger, which is not the uh, the objective of this this study. And bear in mind that in the organic ranking cycle technology, the main constraint is the heat source. The first stage of the development of the thermodynamic model is uh, focused on the characterization of the heat sources according to the chemical composition, temperature, and the molar flow. And looking at the table one, uh, you can see the main characteristics of the main natural gas compression unit of uh, FPSO, and which is our, our heat source that was used for, for this study. About the software and tools, the organic and mechanical cycle simulation were all performed using a computer code that were written in MATLAB and the calculation of the thermodynamic properties were using the half prop. And finally, the numerical solution were all validated with the Aspen Hysis, uh, that's the industrial process uh, software that is common and very used in the chemical and uh, gas and oil industry. Although there are many options available for working fluids, there are also many restrictions in their selection, many related to the thermodynamic properties of fluids, safety and environmental impact. Uh, the selection of the working fluid has been treated in numerous studies, most of them focused on low temperature sources. However, uh, we have on the other side, the zyotropic emissions, when compared to pure fluids, leads to a reduction of the irreversibility in the rich transfer process, due to increases the temperature profile between cold and hot fluid in the heat exchangers. However, from the thermodynamic point of view, the use of a zyotropic emissions it seems to be an open question among the researchers. And what can be concluded to now is that the study of emissions of viable organic compounds for working fluid must be carried out through an ORC system project. Parametric analysis of the thermal system must use more holistic methods that allow to evaluate the importance of different parameters and system configuration on the thermodynamic performance of the cycle and the equipment dimensions. A multi-objective mathematical optimization problem has M decision variables to minimize or maximize any objectives subject to key restrictions. Uh, to satisfy all these objectives simultaneously, in this work, the NSCG2 method proposed by Dev is employed, which is a multi-objective genetic algorithm that classifies the optimal solutions according to the Pareto dominance concept. Uh, two objective functions were considered in this optimization. First is the minimization of uh, global thermal conductance and the maximization of uh, net electrical power. This being the parameters that most influences the technical and economical feasibility of implementing heat recovery system based on the organic and organic cycles. Uh, all the variations of uh, parameters can be seen in the table 2. So here in the results, the genetic algorithm is performed for 150 generation points. Uh, and here we have a distribution of uh, results from the optimization process and the set of the Pareto frontier. In the frontier, it showed uh, a higher net power generation for the same overall heat transfer UA parameter. Let me show an example in the chart. Uh, this head point, uh, it generates 800 kilowatts of uh, net power electricity for a thousand UA overall heat transfer. Uh, if you look at the Pareto frontier, you are capable to generate a higher net electrical power for the same 
1000 uh, overall heat transfer, which is better. So in this theory, it can be seen that option solutions are presented by the power generation ranges in which the choice of the optimal solution is strictly related to the working fluid used. The Pareto frontier shows that the REA 245CB2 presents the best working fluid option from the point of view of electricity generation, being able to generate something between 1715 and uh, 1800 kilowatts. However, under these design conditions, the largest area required by the thermal system is achieved with an overall thermal conductance ranging from 2200 and 2450 kilowatts per Kelvin. Uh, next we have the Anbul 10, the C4 H10 presents itself as the best option from the point of view of total heat exchange area required by the thermal system with an uh, overall thermal conductance varied between 200 and 450 kilowatts per Kelvin with a capacity to generate electricity between 400 and 650 kilowatts. And finally, we have uh, the mixture of uh, every 235 FEA and C7816 at 98% present as the best working food option for the thermal system designed to operate between 650 and uh, 1750 kilowatts. For each mystery and for each configuration of uh, organic rankinic cycle, there is an optimal vaporization pressure that offers the maximum performance of the thermodynamic system. In the chart, we can observe one example for the mystery add 234 FEA in the C7H16. Uh, in the chart, there's a, a variation of the electrical power of the cycle as a function of the vaporization pressure. For all fluids in corresponding mixtures evaluated, it's observed that generating of electricity increases with the decrease of the pinch point. Since the parameters is inversely proportional to the rich flow supplied to the thermal system, thus increasing the mass flow of the working fluids at the evaporator outlets favor the generation of the electrical power in the cycle. Some other observations that can be emphasized. The overheating and effectiveness of the internal heat recovery units when compared to the pinpoint and vaporization pressure have led to no influence on the generation of electricity in the thermal system. Also, the preheating of the working fluid before entering the evaporator has no direct influence on the ability of the ORC cycle to generate more electricity because the variation in the, in the effectiveness of the internal heat exchanger does not modify the molar flow of the working fluid and neither the variation of enthalpy in the turbine. So for the conclusions, uh, this paper presented a thermodynamic model in multi-objective optimization where we performed for a low temperature heat recovery system. Remember that our heat source was a compressor in a FPSU. We made a use of uh, organic rankinic cycle for two configurations, the simple one and the regenerative one for azeotropic mysteries, so it didn't have made a use of uh, pure fluids, but the mysteries ones. Uh, we did uh, a, a total of uh, 48 different fluids that we mixed and used as a working fluid for our model and simulations. Uh, the application of the genetic algorithms to optimize the energy performance of heat recovery projects proved it to be a powerful and effective tool to determine the trade-off for different objectives established. So, regardless of the objective, if it's desirable to generate more net power or to reduce the overall heat transfer, the genetic algorithms model should be capable to point the proper mixture parameters and the performance for the application that is being analyzed. And Third point is the, the results show it that there is no guideline to determine the optimal design of the cogeneration system. Since it is a multi-objective optimization, there is no a single optimal solution. There is a range of uh, best optimal solution, which is the Pareto frontier. And finally, each application requires a sophisticated analysis to, to determine the optimal solution 
based on his considerations and technical differences and operation restrictions. Uh, based on this, we can conclude uh, such a sophisticated analysis tool has to be combined with a good engineering judgment to convert to a proper and best solution uh, for the application. So, I would like to thank you for your attention and other support by CAPS, Federal University of Tejubá, and the researchers of uh, GTEC. And uh, if you have any question, you can post a commentary below or send me an email. Thank you.